I've been asked by a few people to do a, a general overview of my aviary, what's in it and how it works and everything. So I'm going to attempt to do that now. Start off with the door, which I've got a double door on here. This first one's got a spring on it, so that it will always swing shut. So you don't can't forget to close it. So you go in through the first door, and it will automatically swing shut. Second door I haven't got on a spring because often I need to get large things in like branches and furniture or whatever. So this one swings open but it doesn't matter if anybody comes through, any birds come through because that gate is closed. This one's just held with a magnet latch. And here we enter the aviary. It's 360 square feet. I'm into palms, so there's a lot of palm trees in here. It's about the only one that doesn't get mauled by the birds. This aviary was originally built to house a pair of pheasants, which were actually one of the last birds to come in here. Construction is treated timber, H4 treated timber with galve mesh. This is quite a big mesh. Lots of people use 7mm or 12mm. This is actually 19. Um, but we haven't got any really small birds in here. And we don't have a huge rodent problem or anything like that. Um, so the 19 mils is okay. On the roof I have shade cloth. It's in a um, a real commercial industrial shade cloth and above that is um, some mesh on this half and on the other half plastic corrugated roofing to keep the rain off. Put the shade cloth up as a bit of a soft barrier because the pheasants when they get if they get startled fly straight up and smash into it and it's just to give them a bit of cushioning. Um, it's a natural natural floor of dirt, the lawn, that was basically here before we built it. Um, and some of these palms are already here, like that one. Some of the palms, however, such as that one, have been rather <laughs> decimated by the birds. I add extra plants all the time, like that's just a, a branch of cut-off, as is that over there. It's been, teals love chopping off leaves and destroying plants. There's four cockatiels in here. They're very playful and friendly. There's a pair of Lady Amherst pheasants. That's Brucey, the male. And down there's Carrie, female. didn't want a, an aviary with a concrete floor because I find them sterile and horrible. I wanted to make as natural environment, environment as possible. That's so why I tried to use natural branches as much as possible for perches. This is where Brucey sleeps. Every night he looks up like he's trying to get higher so I built him this extra perch a few, couple of weeks ago. Just quickly chucked it up there to see if he'd use it. And he doesn't. Birds can be very picky. You never quite know what they're going to use. There's also a pair of two male Kutunix Japanese quail in here. It's Ernie. He loves to sunbathe and dust bathe. There's also a pair of Barbary doves. There's one there. And the other is sitting on this cage here. Now this is a cage that's in here just to get the birds used to it put food in there, just training them to go in and out of the cage so that we need to capture them for anything. If they're ill, we can easily get them in there. They're not afraid of the cage. And as you can see, they're not very scared of it whatsoever. There's a little hut there for the quail to sleep in, but they don't use it. And that's just more plants that I just throw in here each week just for the birds to sit on and chew up and destroy. 
some of the ground in here we've got astroturf just so that it's not all muddy and stuff for us to walk on and it's an industrial grade astroturf they use for hockey fields it's a bit of a clean it's winter here at the moment so it's starting to grow a bit it's a bit of a blast off of the hose a little house I made the birds playing now there's also five turquoisines in here grass parakeets from Australia there's three females and two males at the moment and there's ten java finches as well we started off with five and now got ten we started off with two turquoisines and we got another male the two that we got to begin with were females, and now we've, they've had another pair, so we've got five of them. Cockatiels are all male, so they won't breed. Pheasants have laid eggs, but they weren't fertile. But Brucey is he's only not long got his full plumage. He's only about 19 months old, a pair of them. That little pyramid there they all like to play on. Pheasants like getting up high off the ground and having a, have a good look around. There's an old bit of ducting there that the quail like running through. All the old seed I throw back on the ground on the dirty areas it starts to grow. It gives the birds something else to eat. Fresh greens. A lot of them like that. They love fresh weeds and that sort of thing. But I mean their basic feed is an aviary mix we get from a local bird store. And it's got everything in it pretty much. This is their main feed table. Which I'm just in the middle of cleaning off at the moment. So there's no food on there. So that's for the flying birds we'll use that. The ground birds, the pheasants and the quail. Gone through lots of different ways, methods of feeding them but they tend to just do what they want to do so the easiest way has been just to use pot saucer so that's all I do now. There's an automatic waterer there so they've always got water coming in from a barrel on the outside which is hooked up to the spouting on the roof birds are all having a bit of a spaz out. There's also other water bowls scattered around like there, and there, and other food bowls hidden away under there. Settle down guys. What's the matter? Hmm? You get a bit like this as a blackbird or something on the outside just had a squawk. Well, they see a cat. Um, so that's about it, I think. We have a seat in here which we come and sit on, and the birds will come and sit on us and eat food off us, which you can see on some of my other videos. All the food and stuff we keep in this bucket here is sealed so that nothing can get into it. We don't have a problem, like I said before, with rodents or or any other major pests. I live in New Zealand, so there's no snakes, there's no foxes, lizards, anything like that that can tunnel in. So there's not a lot of there's no mesh or anything in the in the ground. Yeah, so that's about it. That's the pheasantasium. If you want to watch any other videos of the birds just subscribe to my page and you'll get them when I put them up they'll be emailed to you or just take a look through click on my name Karyotagigus which is the name of a palm if you're wondering um, have a little click on that and it'll take you to all the other videos <laughs>